Hey, what's up guys? Nick the Informative Fisherman here on behalf of Lucky Tackle Box. And today I wanna to give you a little subject that I was recently talking to a couple of buddies on and this is something kind of we're all guilty of is we tend to move on too quick once we catch a fish. Um, if you're in very, very shallow water and it's like post spawn, through summer, early fall in shallow water, you may catch a fish one, one here, one there, one here, one there, but usually, even at the times where they're less likely to be together, there's usually one, two, three, or four along with that one that you caught that you did not catch. And so what I'm gonna refer to this is milk running, a follow-up run, and an, an additional catch out of the location that you caught a fish. So. This is something I see everyone do. I'm guilty of it myself, uh, just because I'll be lazy and know I can jump to the next spot and catch more fish off of it. So what you need to pay attention to is how you caught the fish, where you caught the fish. So for example, if I'm going down the bank and I catch one on a crankbait, now the direction I'm going is critical. I can try once I complete that coverage going down that bank, turn around and throw the crankbait the opposite direction and see if I get an additional fish on the same bait like that. But what generally is a better thing to do is turn really wide, come back around. If you're walking on foot, you can walk right past it, no problem. But if you're in a boat, go as far as you can away from that bank. You don't wanna idle right back down that bank that's gonna blow it out. What you really wanna do is go out as far as you can, come back around. Now, if you caught a fish there, you, what you should really focus on is slowing down, especially if it was a good fish. Really slow down, throw a jig, drag a worm, work a drop shot, a shaky hit, something into that spot. Because I guarantee, especially on a moving bait, if you're throwing a reaction bait, a rattle trap, a jerk bait, a buzz bait, a frog, and you catch a bass on those, the odds are you pass lots of fish that were not willing to grab those particular baits. If you're going down and you're already throwing a drop shot and you catch one or two off that bank, yeah, if you go everywhere else and you can't catch them, it's probably a good idea to come back and try that again, maybe in about an hour. Because um, there is another thought process, thought process going around this. And what that thought process consists of is feeding window. So let's say uh, you got there and the two fish you caught off that bank were just about to get hungry. They seen the opportunity and they ate. Um, the other fish ate a couple hours ago they're with those fish that they didn't have the opportunity at that point because they weren't hungry. They they had the opportunity, the bait came by, they weren't hungry, but now you come back a couple hours late uh, later, you know you have fish located there and they'll eat at that point. So it doesn't hurt to come back every couple hours in a spot if you already caught them finesse fishing. But if you caught them on that moving bait, come back and finesse fish it the second time because chances are, you got that one active fish out of the group to where if you hang in their face a lot longer, you're gonna pick off that extra second, third, or fourth fish. Now, how you go about this next one is entirely up to you. And if you're in a tournament scenario, this is where a lot of guys say, I came in right behind the guy and whacked him. You could have done that doing exactly what I just said. You have seen them catch a fish on a frog, a buzz bait, a popper or something, a crank bait, or a chatterbait, something that's moving through fast that's gonna get you that one good fish out of there, and then they just progressively moved on down the bank. That does not hurt to get in behind them with a Senko, a drop shot, a shaky head or something, and catch an additional fish out of that location because they've already moved on. But if you think they're coming back, don't do that. But this is very, very possible to do. Um, but there's that other thing. A lot of the time, they're not showing the fish the ideal presentation. They may be throwing a four or five foot diving crankbait, all right? And you go by there and you look on the fish finder and you see that it was seven or eight feet deep. And you've seen it look like they were throwing a square bill, it looked like they were throwing something shallow. Now you come through in that same spot, fish it deep with one of your faster moving baits. If you catch them there again, you're gonna be following up on a run and cleaning up on additional fish that other guys missed. So pay attention to these clues and you can come back and be more effective on these locations. So remember, if you catch a fish in a spot on a moving bait, 
come back through, fish it very slow and pick it apart. You already have fish located. It does hurt to move. It does not hurt to try for a second time to catch those additional fish. Another thing along with that is revisit it every couple hours, especially if you are not dialed in on fishing other locations of that lake or river, wherever you're fishing, guys. I'm Nick the Informative Fisherman. Hopefully that tip helped you out. Make sure to subscribe to us here at Lucky Tackle Box on all the popular social media channels. We'll see you guys next time. Best of fishing.